holding the camera because I kind of did some things backwards. But this is my fantasy puff, how I do it. And this is a protective hairstyle for the next couple of days. Look at my forehead, it's shiny. And you'll see why when you see the video, how I did it and a couple of other pictures. So be blessed, stay focused, stay tuned, and watch how I did my fantasy puff, which is no different than I'm sure most people, like I said in most of my videos, we can all learn from each other and we're not unique, we're all unique. For my fantasy puff, before I start about, maybe I should do the video just to show y'all how I did it. Of course, you guys already know from my previous videos, this is a spray that I make for myself. I have my gel. So far, that's all I've used. And this, and I parted my hair going across, straight across that way. And now, I'm gonna put it, I sprayed it, and I put the gel on there so far. But, hold on, I want some shine. So I have my, it's a coconut mixture that I have. Smells good. It has oils, coconut and all of that in it. And it adds shine to my hair. This is the back. Okay. I'm going to be putting my protective hairstyle back in this weekend. So this is a twist I had in there for the last three weeks. And I think I, I don't know if I told you guys, but anytime I put hair in, I always have breakage. But it's the normal, you know, breakage. Okay, so this is it so far. Let me see. Oh, okay. And then what I like to do, protect your ends. All right. And I'm going to put, wrap it around. All right. And after I tie it down tonight, it will be flat. Alright. Here's my fantasy book. And what I do, you could scratch it or make it look like, you know, that in the back. Or like that. So what I'm going to do, put the comb right here. Come right there. Alright. And then you have the string. I have my string on the side right here. Okay. Don't put it too tight, people. That stuff breaks your hair off. It thins it out. Anything with a lot of tension will eventually pop. I don't know what other people told you, but I've learned that from experience. And uh, you really need to be very careful about that. I love this comb. I detangled my hair with this comb. I'm finding that, just like I said before, there's a lot of things you could use for your hair. All right, here we go. And what I want to do, I'm gonna spray this. No, nope, I have not used shea butter. Even though I love my shea butter, there are times when I don't need to use it. Right now, see that shine coming? That's that coconut. That's the coconut that I made. All right. And now, gel. I'm gonna try and then do it this way to modify the fit, fit me. So what I'm doing right now, as you see, 
I just made a little side twist here. And if I had the little gold clips, I would put right here. I need to invest in some. I saw some the other day, so I want to use them to do a hairstyle. Excellent. Okay. And I twisted around the tip to get it all the way in there. Alright. There we go. That's that side. Okay. Don't worry about my forehead right now. So I'm going to clean that up. I'm also going to clean this up. Spray. And I'm not really worried about length. A lot of people are, in the natural world, their main focus is length on their hair. And, and that's fine, you know. But I'm more focused on my hair being healthy. Getting back to the healthiness of my hair. It will probably never be like it was in the beginning. But I've got some years on this hair, okay? If you guys paid attention to some of my videos, you, you'll know. There's some decades on my hair. There's decades on quite a few people. If I get long hair out of it, that's fine. But I've always also said, long hair sometimes is just long hair. Not much you can do with it. It's just long hair. Okay, here we go again. All I'm doing is twisting it. As you can see. As you can see. And this is my look for tomorrow. But I wanted to do it tonight so I could tie it down. But I wanted you to see how I did it. So, there we go. I'm gonna stick this bobby pin right there. There it is. Okay. All right, now, this, this here. Okay. And I like to take it, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, and pin it. I don't like sticking it up under there because I don't like having to find it to take it out. My fantasy book. I'm gonna look in the back real quick. Right. And my hair is protected in there. But just remember, don't pull those combs tight. Do not put that tension on your um, scalp because you will break your hair off and you will get bald spots if you do that continuously. I'm telling you, when I tell you I learned that, I learned that. Anyway, play with it. This is it for tomorrow. Tomorrow when I do it again, it'll be even cuter. And I'll take uh, some pictures. But, you know, I take my edges and I put them, brush them in. No, it's not baby hair. I told y'all that early in my video. I don't have baby hair. And if I had it, it's been many years since I've had some baby hair. All I'm doing is Taking my edges and brushing them back to blend it in. All right, and if you want to, you can accessorize it. I don't know. Let me see what I got in here. But I can show you how to accessorize. I don't know. Hmm, what you think? We'll see. We'll definitely see tomorrow. The old favorite, which I'm kind of getting tired of the flower, but you can take and put it on the edge. Like that. When I do stuff like this, I think of Minnie Ripperton. A lot of y'all might not know who that is, but for those of you who do, kudos. For those of you who don't look her up, she was dynamic. Okay, you know I got to have my fly earrings, right? You know I got to have my fly earrings. And if y'all don't know where I got these from, 
I did do a video early on and it was a review on a, um, a real estate company. This particular person who made these and uh, 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 Sharon's decorations out of New York. So if you really want to know, yes, that's where I got it. But isn't that nice? So I'm gonna take a few pictures so you can see. I don't have on any makeup, but this is another hairstyle. And it's my fantasy puff. And those of you that know, where's that? I just had it. this brush that I bought to dedicate to my hair. And what I do is when my roots are showing, I use my old color stick here and I wet it. I wet it and I take this or either use the stick directly, depends on how the hair is at that particular time. Wow, see that? And the gray is gone. The gray is gone. Temporarily, guys, temporarily. But, and there you have it. Now, doesn't that look lovely? Okay. And thus, you have my fantasy buff. And this will be it for the rest of the week until I put my protective hairstyle back in. But I am protecting my ends because there are no ends out, as you can see. And it's covered up in here and the ends have been right into a uh, ball in a knot and put it in there. Be blessed. And we'll see you on the flip. Peace.